Oh, see, it's me again, and see, I figured ah, I might as well make another video. The only reason why, like, you know, I try to limit my videos is because it takes so long for me to upload. Usually, like, it takes, like, six hours to upload one half-hour video. Sometimes, maybe, sometimes quicker, sometimes slower, but I guess it all depends how it all works out, but anyway, like, I said a lot of what I wanted to say on my perspectives, and, like, always I could be right or wrong, like, just thought I should share them, and hopefully, like, you know, like, if, like, my perspective can help one person understand what's going on better than, you know, like, I've made some kind of difference, and, you know, like, I've already said my perspectives on a lot of the spiritual and possible religious implications of everything that's been happening, but, like I was saying, like, it doesn't matter if this is, like, your holy or special book, like, you know, this is a, like, my belief is religious, spiritual text, it's a reflection of man, and also a reflection of God, all that is, you know, essentially, this is a form, an early, early, early precursor to science, but at the same time, over the years, it's been kind of, like, you know, molded and shaped to be used as a form of control, when, in fact, you know, the truth of all that is God, and, like, you know, some would say Christ was the best, like, you know, was, like, you know, the, said it best, others would say, you know, Muhammad said it best, but like I said in my previous video, a lot of it has to do with context, and the world has changed, you know, we are evolving, like, you know, we can focus on better things, like, I was mentioning about how we could, you know, basically, like, you know, if they could green all this area, you know, start growing crops inland, like, you know, import maybe, like, different types of, like, you know, animal, like, maybe turkeys or cattle or something like that, you know, for food, and, like, there are those ideas, I should actually try and look for that article, you know, they talk about, like, growing, like, you know, synthetic meats in a lab, and I know the whole thing, like, you know, they say, oh, like, you know, genetically modified organisms, all this is bad, and stuff like that, I think the best, like, what, or my perspective is, we need transparency with what they're doing, you know, full transparency to understand the implications of all of this, you know, but there are solutions to, like, you know, the world, like, you know, food problems, and, like, here, this is another one, because, like, they're saying they're running out of land to grow crops, like, why not, like, build massive ships at sea, and this isn't to scale, this would be, like, a lot longer, but, like, it would be like that could even be solar powered with like desalination plants and you can grow crops in there like you know hydroponically and everything with like you know you could grow rice you could grow soy products you could grow like you know fruits all sorts of things vegetables and like you know even and like if you could perfect that synthetic meat you could have like maybe in the hold like you know a process like you could be, have like you know incorporate like fishing processes into this essentially you know solutions to like you know like, provide, like, tackle, like, truly launch, like, if you want to go to war, a war on hunger, the reason why a lot of people are going to war with each other is there's not enough resources, you know, but if we can slowly start, you know, like, not saying, like, totally, like, you know, put a stop to the old, like, you know, petrol economy system, no, like, over time, and, like, you know, if they change their hearts about, like, how things are done, you know, in a sense, like, you know, like, essentially go with the perceptional shift, you know, and, like, it's not all about money, it's not all about money, there are things worth far more than money, you can't put a cost on human life, and that's something that we, like, you know, we must realize, that's what God wants us to realize, that's my opinion, you know, because with ships like this and stuff like this, you could have them in the Pacific, in the Atlantic, in the Indian Ocean, in the South Atlantic, over here, like, all over, you know, where, like, the climate's good and whatnot, and, like, even, like, take, for instance, like, you know, I live in Hawaii. Like, you know, this is my home. Hawaii is my home over here. Like, you know, imagine if, like, we could, like, invest in, like, you know, like, we rely mostly on, you know, petroleum-run power plants and everything. Imagine, like, you know, not saying to totally phase that out. We need them and everything. But we have, like, you know, there's a biomass plant that, you know, re essentially uses, converts waste into energy we have that, and also, like, you know, we could set up solar plants all over Hawaii, you know, and also maybe even, like, you know, wind power, like, you know, we gotta look diversify in a sense, you know, like, because we gotta be prepared for the day when oil runs out, like, what's the sense of going to war, exhausting resources, and then only to have it run out anyway, so you see, and, like, look at the technological progress we've made, like I said, science is but another tongue of God, you know, and, like, they say, like, 
you need like one person speaks tongues and then there's an interpreter in the sense Babel is being decoded look at the progress we've made we have the means to solve a lot of these problems that have plagued humanity for so long it's just because we're stuck we're stuck in outdated like you know views and mentalities you know that you know like the reality of the world just doesn't support it so in a sense like all this doom and gloom the fear and stuff all of that it will just collapse on itself and you know it's going to go away if we can overcome these problems you know and like I was saying like everything it talks about God to a certain extent and you know like this is one thing like you know it's something that like you know like you know I don't grow cannabis but you know I have smoked cannabis in the past and you know and I do feel like you know it's not such a bad thing if you really read like what they say in here about this this is a good thing you know to be aware of and stuff like this they talk about like stuff like you know the medical benefits there are medical benefits of it not just that but also like you know if alcohol is legal you know cannabis should be legal it's like a no-brainer in a sense you know you got to really think really 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 think about these things like you know not saying that all drugs you know should be legal like some of them they need to be controlled but like you know maybe decriminalized and stuff like that but like there's a lot of turmoil in the world like and why because of outdated mentalities and everything you know outdated mentalities you know like we got to move away from the dogma like supposedly sorcery sorcery it means the source tapping into the source that's what the pharisees didn't want you know that's why christ came to you know criticize the pharisees like these religious rulers you know that were lording over all saying like oh if you do this you do that you're going to hell and everything blah 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 and they were condemning people to death they were maiming people torturing them you know and like yet what were they doing they were like making money and everything like you know that whole scheme and everything and yet you know they had lustful desires so that's what he said like how can you condemn these people you know like for all these like petty things yet when like you know like you deal you struggle with these things too and everything like you know you're not set apart from any man you know that's what Christ came to show us you know in a sense all that is that consciousness in the flesh came to show us something that you know this is what it is you know everything is what it is it is what it is you know we gotta make peace with who we are and you know like overcome evolve don't regress not saying to totally you know like disregard what all these things say say these holy bibles and like you know our holy text because they're telling us things that have been happening think about it like world war two world war one the vietnam war all these wars since christ has been here all these genocides and you know like what's been going on all over the world and everything for so many years so many decades people are saying oh like you know every like it's all hell's going to break loose and everything what are you talking about like things have been you know like not right for a long time in a sense we've been this past two thousand years have been you know that time of revelations and in a sense like now like certain things like you know it's becoming so blatantly clear now's the turning point where we wake up in a sense we've been in that fiery hell as a humanity you know we've seen what it like you know will bring and like so what choice are we going to make as you know a collective are we going to you know be forever cut off from god essentially going extinct that's what it means that's what it means by save your soul save humanity's soul and to do that and to you know truly endure and evolve we need to you know like protect life at all costs and that doesn't mean that like you know i should like explain certain things like let's see where did i put it here it is like you know in my wallet i have my protection uh, a little bible like i'll explain like this is just my personal interpretation of what moses was trying to say with the ten commandments and everything and this is like these are universal truths when it says thou shalt not ha shall have no other gods before me what he's saying is like like depends on your perception of god, god like for me god is all that is and we're an integral part of it that means like and in my opinion the greatest force of all is a force of love. So worship love, in a sense, above all others. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. They're talking about idolatry. The true meaning of idolatry, what they're talking about, the true context and meaning is, they're talking about all those ancient Semitic rituals and, you know, like Abraham sacrifice, going to sacrifice Isaac and stuff like that. That's what God forbade. That's 
idolatry, glorifying death and destruction. That's something that's forbade and will provoke God to anger. And thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. That means, in a sense, like, for me, like, that has, like, you know, a big, like, a different meaning in a sense. Like, what it means is, you know, like, don't lose faith. Don't forsake your God. Don't lose faith in all that is. If you only knew, like, the potential that, like, us, like, working together with all that is, in a sense, what we can accomplish, you know, like, you know, don't take that in vain. And remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That means, Sabbath day means a day of rest. That means when you need rest, you should honor that. You know, don't work yourself to death. And then honor thy mother and father. That means, you know, like, do your best for your parents. Like, you know, don't, like, you know, try to listen to them. But the problem is, like, you know, for so long there's been a lot of miscommunication. You know, if we really truly change a lot of the perspectives like you know a lot of us we've been born into this system it's like getting a job in a sense you know like the pol it doesn't matter if they're politicians or like you know going like or religious leaders or whatever like you know we're born into the system like i was saying earlier it doesn't matter which book like you're given when you're born or like or what country or like environment you're born into like we're all you know a product of the environment we're a product of everything you know it's a little bit of everything you know but like that's why they say, like, you know, we have to change, like, certain things. Like, you know, not everything, the way things have been, has been right. So, and that's what they're trying to change. And thou shalt not kill. That means do not go out intentionally to conspire to commit murder or intentionally take someone's life for, you know, like, a reason, like, for, like, you know, an evil reason. That's what it means, thou shalt not kill. However, in a situation of, like, war or something like that, or where you have to defend yourself... I do believe the laws of karma, all that is, like, it applies differently. You know, in a sense, if someone has broken that, like, you know, karmic law of all that is, of the law of God, like, and intentionally seeks out to kill someone or is, like, an imminent threat to you or someone else, then, only then, you know, you are given permission to defend yourself, you know, and whatever may happen, may happen, and, you know, and thou shalt not commit adultery. That means if someone is in a marriage or a mated pair, do not intentionally go to seek to break that up or cause trouble or calamity. That's what they're talking about. And, like, you know, it was a different world back then. Like, women were considered almost property back then. And that's not how it should be. That's not how it should be. Like, you know, my ideals are from are for romantic love. Thou shalt not steal. What they were actually referring to, like, I actually researched it. Like, some interpretations are they're talking about thou shalt not kidnap thou shalt not take someone else's like you know child or someone else's person or anyone you know that's what they said thou shalt not steal but also like when it comes to stealing someone stealing a loaf of bread because they're hungry versus someone stealing money for their own personal gain to enrich themselves at the expense of another's you know like in the grand scheme of things you know which one god is forgiving you know he doesn't care if you steal that loaf of bread to feed yourself in the grand scheme of things maybe the store might but at the same time like you know in the grand scheme of things not saying like stealing is right at the same time but like i was saying if we can solve a lot of these problems no one should have to steal a loaf of bread you know what i mean and thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor that means don't intentionally make up a phony story, you know, or anything to get anyone in trouble or anything like that. Don't intentionally lie against someone else. But at the same time, like, you know, if your perspective is something that, like, you know, something like you perceive, you know, it's okay to, like, you know, state what you think is going on or what's going, you know, what is not going on and whatnot. You know, it's okay. Like, you know, that's why everyone we need communication and you know investigation and then we'll figure out exactly what really is going on you know and that way like you know there is no problems and everything you know a lot of the problems the enemy in a sense we're our own worst enemies miscommunication we turn each other against ourselves and in the truth you know they say like oh in the end of times like everyone's like you know like brother against brother look at it like i was saying iran and israel like supposedly the muslims the jews the christians we're all brothers we all look we're all against each other you know like in a sense like think about it like it's like like macrocosmically everything expands outwards there's you gotta think about things on a bigger scale like beyond like your immediate surroundings you know like in a sense like yes our house has been divided but in a sense like everyone you know like these various nations should be allowed to preserve their own unique 
identities, you know, and like with solutions like this, we can solve the food problems for all over, you know, like, you know, like North Korea will never have any food problems again, you know, the Philippines, China, Australia, US, n South America, Africa, the Mideast, Russia, like everyone, like, you know, like everyone would not have to worry about this if we were to invest, like, think about it, look at all the like money invested into all like you know the war machine and everything the military industrial complex if anything like you know retool it you know because like you know the world is the way it is it's not going to change overnight and everything but like you know if we if we really do truly invest in greater cooperation you know trying to move beyond the old stereotypes you know we can accomplish a lot you know we we can accomplish a lot and you know and it says thou shalt not covet you know that's the last one you know don't envy you know, in a sense, like, don't focus on what you don't have. If anything, like, don't think about trying to take what someone else has. Think about how you can, you know, improve, like, yourself to attain what you really truly need. And the truth is, you don't need all this material wealth. What you truly, like, you know, as long as you have the basics, you know, and also a right and a freedom to, like, you know, pursue, like, you know, your love, so long as it's, you know, just and noble and, you know, it's not bad and, you know, and corrupt. Like, you know, God has, God or all that is will never oppose you. So that's the truth. That's the truth right there, in a sense. And like, you know, this is something we can all understand, no matter where you are. Like, if it's science, if it's the Muslims, if it's the Christians, if it's the Jews, if it's, like, even this, this is history, you know, like it talks about the roots of everything. Or if you're a Buddhist, you know, like, it's the art of life. You know, the art of life. You know, this is an interesting book that I read, and, like, you know, I'm not promote necessarily promoting everything, like, you know, like, just take it from me that, like, everything, like, and even this, the most interesting thing, you know, they talk about in here about, like, you know, in the beginning about, like, biblical prophecy and, like, the implications, so in a sense, this, there is a reality to all of this, but here, this is the most important thing. Where was it now? I gotta fight, here. You see, they talk about there are technologies far ahead of us out there. Yes, you know, out there, like the universe, in a sense, like space exploration. Like, and I'll get to that in a little bit and everything. But, like, you know, all the sci fi said such wonderful visions only strengthen their religious beliefs, according to Morehouse. And for me, like, when they say religious, I interpret that as spiritual beliefs because I'm not a religious person, or maybe I, I don't know, that's up to you to label me, whatever. I don't label myself. That's. You know, I allow whoever is watching, whoever is listening, and that's everyone, you know, to pretty much, you know, come to your own conclusions, in a sense, about, like, what I have to say. Once you know, really know that death is not the end of existence, then you can, tr then you are truly liberated, truly free. The only thing I can imagine is, like, being, is, like, going into the presence of God and standing there in a four-dimensional world where you can go forward in time and backwards in time, everything at any given distance. Um, um, omnipotent omnipotent that's how you become that is the realm of God we hear people stand in the pulpit and read words saying God is omnipotent omnipotent and all-knowing and we we sit back and say how the hell can you be that but if you've been to a fourth dimensional world that you see how then you see how that can be I've seen it Mel and the others have seen it people have asked me if remote remote viewing has allowed me to go beyond be a belief in God on the contrary what I have seen has confirmed the existence of God is confirmed the existence of all things which have been laid out for us the other worlds Morehouse said the remote viewing experience has strengthened his religion helping him to put things in a broader and clearer context you can't have the experience of remote training without having your life changed drastically because you become so aware of so much more than you knew, knew before I guess that one of the hardest things to fathom is that we on Earth are so insignificant. We're such a small part of one dimension amongst countless worlds. Our universe is countless worlds. Our planet is like one page in a huge encyclopedia. And you know, th that's interesting. They're talking about like America and everything. Yet, yeah, you know, something, this is from, like I'll show you how everything, we're all speaking the same language. That's why it's about the end of the, the you know, it's about the end of all the wars, you know all like the opening from the Quran it says all praise belongs to God Lord of all worlds all worlds they're talking about multiple worlds so you see how it all co connects and then like then there's you know this and everything and it all it all connects 
And you know, the final victory of Christianity and Islam, in a sense, like, you know, it's about winning that spiritual battle, ending the war, because imagine, like, retooling the military-industrial complex, like I was saying, like, instead of actually waging war, you know, like, death and destruction, bringing life, like, you could have people from China, you could have experts from China, Russia, the U.S., Europe, all over there, like, building all these, like, you know, developing it, the Middle East, turning it into the promised land, that's what God would want, in my opinion. And, you know, like, once you take care of that problem, and then we have all these ships, you know, take care of the food problems all over, and everything, then, like, you know, like, we'll be able to manage the population, you know, like, we'll be able to sustain a growing population, you know, we can have a trillion people, you know, and, like, that way we have that diversity, you know, that creativity, like, you know, like, there's all that propaganda, you know, against NASA and everything, like, like, there's even, they'll say, like, oh, they were Nazis and everything, and everything, but at the same time, like, you know, like, we've come a long ways, not everything is as it seems, you know, like, there is some horrible, horrific mistakes made in the past, that humanity has done, you know, and like, if we only realize, and the thing is, they know, we all know the truth, like, we should know by now, we should know by now, you know, we should know by now, because if we solve these problems, you know, like, we can, you know, like, because, like, if the economy all falls apart, instead of going to war, we could, you know, like I said, put our military to use to actually solving these real problems while we have this technology before we destroy it all, you know what I mean? It's a gift from God, it's a gift from all that is. That's my honest per opinion and perspective. And once we, like, essentially conquer all these problems on Earth, you know, and, like, we overcome, and, you know, I know it's not going to be easy. I know it's not going to be easy. There's possibly going to be certain factions that kick and scream, you know, to maintain their old way. But at the same time, like, you know, like, at least be open. Open your minds. Open your hearts to, like, everything, you know, and just see what happens. We'll just see how things unfold. You know, because, like, once we have all this taken care of, you know, like, if we, like, do explore more, like, the moon, Mars, and everything, like, we could mine those planets, possibly for resources, maybe even, like, you know, Jupiter and Saturn, the gas giants, like, who knows, maybe a new energy source, or something, who knows, and everything, like, all those, like, where they talk about the other worlds and everything that we can perceive, like, you know, there is a world where we get to know more of God, more of all that is. But to do that, we need, you know, we need to allow all the time in the world, all the time in the world it takes to figure out solutions to these problems. Because the truth, the truth what I see is, like, Israel is not just a little strip of land over there. The promised land is supposed to be, this is the promised land. All, all of creation is the promised land. And once we realize that, all the fighting will stop, you know, and then we'll be able to solve all these problems. No one would have to go into poverty. Like, no one would have to feel like wherever, like, wherever someone steps foot on this planet, they should feel like they are home. That's how it should be. We need to move beyond all those old, like, outdated mentalities, you know? I must sound like a broken record by now, but, you know, that's, you know, these are just my perspectives on everything. These are just my perspectives. You know, we can solve all these problems, you know? knowledge of freedom, you know, it's all the same language, it's all the same language, and, like, you know, like, we need to solve, and, like, something, like, most recently, like, I guess, like, you could say it's the, cons the, the conspiracy or the worry is about, like, the whole Phobos grunt thing, like, oh, no, maybe it's a nuclear false flag or EMP or something, well, for what it's worth, a lot of these deep space probes, they've been fueled by stuff like plutonium, and cobalt and everything, so that's not something, like, you know, particularly unusual, and we have been having solar flares recently, you know, like I was saying, the whole poker game thing, maybe some people, like, you know, they might want to, like, make people think that there's something going on, and, like, not saying they're wrong, but, like, that's just the way their perspective is and everything, we need to tr tread very carefully on this, and anyway, the latest news I heard on the Phobos Grunt is that they have established communication with it, and there's not enough fuel to take it to Mars, but, like, since they have communication with it, they're going to try and bring it down safely somewhere in one of these oceans. So, you see, like, there, maybe there really is nothing to worry about, you know, like, always keep an open mind about these things, because, and, like, right now, there was a NASA probe that just, like, the Curiosity rover just launched.
to Mars, and that one's fueled by plutonium too, so like, you know, like, it's not what it seems, not everything is as it seems, you know, it's not as sinister as it seems. You know, like, we gotta move away from that Cold War mentality. We gotta move away, you know. And there are solutions. There are solutions. There are solutions to everything. And, you know, I see progress. I see progress happening in our world. I've seen progress. And right now, like, you know, before anything gets too out of hand, we need to just watch and see how things unfold, you know. And, like, right now, like, you know, with Syria and especially, like, you know, Iran, Egypt, Israel, it's up to them. How are they going to act, you know? Are they going to keep on, you know, fighting the same old things? Or are they going to say, hey, you know what? You know, there are actually some good ideas out there, you know. We're willing to take a chance and see where this goes. Because then, in a sense, like, that proves, like, the prophecy true, in a sense. The good side of the prophecy, you know, it's whatever you choose. What are we going to choose? Are we, is humanity going to be forever cut off from God? Or is he going to, you know, progress? You know, be fruitful. Be fruitful and multiply. That's what God said. He, that was a commandment to all. All his children. It doesn't matter. Like I said, race, creed, orientation, whatever you believe in. You're all God's children. It's almost like a trick question. Christ said, what is the greatest commandment? Love God, first and foremost. God is all that is. We are an integral part of all it is. Love yourself and then love you know, everyone else. If we were to follow that simplest truth, everything else would fall into place. You know, that's how simple it is. That's how simple it is. It's the same universal language. It doesn't matter if you're, if you believe in God, if you don't believe in God. Like I said, like it doesn't matter what label you choose to ascribe to yourself. It is truly all the same thing. You know, and like we have to overcome these outdated ideas. We have to overcome. We have to overcome. But don't worry, if you really truly have faith, if you really truly believe, you know, in a sense, in not just all that is, but in yourself, and, you know, stand for what you believe is right, you know, we're in a country where it, you are free to protest, in a sense, you know, like, even though, like, there's those detractors, you know, as long as they aren't coming for us, you know, like, kicking down the doors, like, you know, say what you want, but at the same time, you know, you must use discretion, you know, and like I say, don't preach hate or don't preach like you know division that's my opinion you know we all know what the problem is we know that there's a like or we if we all set aside our differences and really take a look at the big picture we'll figure it out we'll be able to figure it out that's my opinion we'll be able to figure it out and like i was saying like you know even with the whole cannabis thing like if you only knew like not just for recreational purposes and for medicinal purposes, like for industrial purposes, it's a good crop. You can build houses, you can make clothes out of it, you know, you can even make food out of it. It's, you know, that's why we have to change our perspectives about a lot of things. You know, there are solutions to end all, you know, the struggles and the calamities. Like, remember, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you. For you, he's talking about all of us, humanity. Plans for welfare, not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. You know, like, I feel like I've said all I needed to say, and, like, right now, like, almost out of time, so, like, wow, so that's almost an hour, like, you know, I've been talking, and, you know, this is just my perspectives, just my perspectives, I could be right, I could be wrong, you don't have to believe everything I say, that, and, like, by the same token, that doesn't mean I believe everything that I hear on YouTube or in the media and such, you know, it's like, you know, I see everything, I take everything in, and then I make my own discernment. You know, it's about freeing us from all this, like, you know, symbols only have power if you give them powers. You know, in a sense, don't focus on, like, the evil, demonic stuff. Like, don't allow that to manifest in this world. We have solutions. We have solutions. Remember the truth. Faith, hope, and love. That's the greatest truth right there, you know. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much just my motto already. Remember, faith, hope, and love. Be love. And like I said, that's all I have to say for now, I guess. And, you know, it's up to you if you choose to believe what I say or not. And, but, like I said, take a look at all my videos, like, if you want to figure out everything, when you have the chance, and my favorites. I don't necessarily endorse everything, you know, but at the same time, it's worth a look. That's all I got for now. Peace.